Hi Leo, welcome to December. This is Teresa from tarabytea.com and I'm getting ready to do your December forecast. And before I do that, I want to create some good energy around this reading. Call in some good spirits. And um, I want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for commenting. And for those of you who have ordered readings, thank you. I really appreciate your business and meeting you and reading for you. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Leo. We've got a um, full moon in Gemini coming up on December 3rd. And we have a new moon in Sagittarius on December 18th. Um, and that's going to fall across your... Let's see. I think that's going to fall across your 5th and 11th houses. So lo romance and um, friendship and groups that you belong to, dreams that you're trying to achieve. Um, those are the, That's the theme for December. So let's see what the cards say. What does Leo need to know about love and relationships for the month of December? What does Leo need to know about love and relationships? the month of December. Okay. The Devil. The King of Swords. The Star. The Page of Swords. The Seven of Wands, getting similar. The Six of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so looking at your astrology, you have a full moon in the 11th house. And Jupiter's going through your fourth house. So you may have recently moved or you're, you're setting up a home that you really feel um, you have a lot more freedom. You have a lot more. You're just liking your new location. The, um, the devil card here is a card of you may have be struggling with. Okay, in a relationship, this could be passion. There's someone that you're really attracted to on a physical level. Um, it could also be fears. You're, you're uh, afraid of getting involved with someone or afraid of being overwhelmed by a relationship. Uh, and for some of you, it could represent struggling with an addiction problem, either um, drugs or alcohol. Or it could be a partner that is dealing with that. Um, so you need to be realistic with this. Um, the King of Swords represents seeing things from a realistic perspective. It represents separating what's real from what's not real. Um, so you might be struggling with your personal demons in December, um, your fears, your um, obsessions. You know, you've got a grip, like something has gotten a grip on you, a hold on you. And you're trying to figure it all out. And you're trying to break free um, from these chains. Like you have chained yourself to something. And um, you have to really look at things realistically, especially because this full moon, Neptune is connected to the full moon. And Neptune can be the planet of deception or illusion. Like maybe you're not seeing things clearly and you need to look at things with this card, the King of Swords. It's separating the wheat from the chafe. So you have to really see what do I need to keep and what do I need to let go of? What is realistic? What can I realistically accomplish in a relationship? And what do I need to let go? Because I feel like they're, you're caught up in some kind of, um, kind of like a, a pattern that is hard to break and you really have to use your intellect to, to think your way out of it you can't feel your way out of it it's more of a you know making the list of pros and cons okay I need to do this this makes sense this could also represent an authority figure being harsh with you like you feel that people are not understanding you that they're judging you too harshly um, maybe there's someone that you're dealing with it could be a partner that you feel is um, not compassionate, doesn't understand what you're going through. And you're feeling that there's a sense of um, 
like a disconnect or they're being un, they're unemotional. You're all wrapped up in this thing and they're like treating it like it's nothing. Um, the star is in your pe recent past. So you have been working toward fulfilling a goal. You have this dream, you have this goal and you've been working on it. And you've had some successes with the star. Um, but there's also been some challenges. So it could be that you have a relationship that there are good part there are parts that are really good, but then there are challenges because one of you is not being realistic or one of you maybe you're coming together for the wrong reasons. Maybe it's more of a physical passion and not you have a you don't have a connection in a different in a different way, in a friendship way. So you have to really think like why am I attached to this person? Why am I attracted to this person? Is it healthy? Is this relationship healthy for me? Because it could be sometimes with the devil that could mean an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy attachment. So you have to like release whatever's not healthy for you. With the page of swords, this is a card of gossip or spying. But it's um so it could be that you've heard some news, like maybe someone you've heard you've been spreading gossip or someone else has been gossiping, and you want to really check into things with the page of swords. You want to make sure that what you're hearing and reacting on is really true because it could be that people are embellishing. Especially with Neptune connected to this uh, moon, you may not be there could be deception. You're not hearing things or you're misinterpreting things or you're not seeing things correctly. The page of Swords can also represent try, having to have a difficult conversation with someone. Having to, uh, you know, maybe you feel like there's some authority figure, even law. Like things are not fair. You're feeling like there's a sense of unfairness. Um, or you ha or you're, you're having to deal with people that are difficult. It could be a child that's being difficult. And you're having to um, communicate with that person and say, um, you know, I, I really don't like what's going on. Um, and you have to be very delicate. This is a part of, you know, diplomatic communication. You have to be delicate. You have to be, choose your words carefully because otherwise you could, um, create, um, rebellion if you don't communicate properly. But you definitely need to set some boundaries with the seven of wands here. The seven of wands is about standing up for what you believe in. So in spite of what you may have heard, um, you have the upper hand. You can overcome the obstacles. So if you're working on a project and maybe you've heard, you know, you feel like people are not supporting you. You don't feel supported in a relationship or you don't feel supported in a project that you're working on that's very dear to your heart because you have this star here that's a, a dream that you've been wanting to achieve. You have to kind of ignore it or you have to really look carefully at, look at the source, look care, more carefully at who you're um, associating with. This sometimes can mean, you know, forming a partnership or a connection with someone or signing a contract and you have to look more carefully at it. Don't sign up for something without, you know, reading the fine print, especially that Mercury is going retrograde in December. So if you're signing a contract, read the fine print, make sure you know what you're getting into. Um, the Seven of Wands is about also setting boundaries with people, especially in relationship, learning how to say no learning how to stand up for what you believe in. Don't let people bully you into a certain action. You know, like some people might be saying, you have to do this, and you feel strongly that, no, I want to do that. Um, so you have to stand up for your yourself and not um, let a relationship overwhelm you. It's because with the devil card, sometimes you're under a lot of pressure. The devil can represent relationships where there's power struggles or um, there's just such a strong attraction that you feel like you're being swept away. With the Six of Cups coming in the near future, this could be um, reconnecting with people from the past, especially since Gemini, um, um, I mean, the Mercury is going retrograde. That sometimes brings people from the past. So the Six of Cups can mean that you're healing from the past um, and you're wanting to make the future better. So you could be reconnecting with people from the past and um, maybe wanting to try again. So for some of you, a relationship can, um, during the month of December, you could have a new beginning in a relationship, especially since um, the new moon is falling in your fifth house. That's the house, and that's your house, the house of Leo. <laughs> um, that's the house of romance. That's the house of creative self-expression. It's the house of children. So you, you're going to have an, a chance toward the end of the month to have some fun. 
you know, to, to put aside your burdens and to have a new beginning, maybe a new relationship or a new beginning with someone from the past so that and you go out and have fun together. You make plans to have fun together, to do things together. So you might be reconnecting with people that you once, um, from your childhood even, um, or even from a past life. Sometimes the Six of Cups can mean um, connecting with people from that you once had a, a past life relationship with. So when you meet people that you have this sudden affinity, you know, sometimes you meet someone and you don't know why, but you just like them. Or you don't know why, but you just got, you just get along. You just like everything clicks. That could happen in December in a relationship. Um, it's, you know, it's like you're wanting to heal some past karma. You're wanting to finish up some past karma and make and move on to something more positive more uh, with more harmony you have the eight of swords here so a part of you is feeling trapped in a situation um, you may be in a, some for some of you you might be in a relationship where you feel that um, you, you want to move out but you can't you're for some reason you're feeling like your options are limited maybe you don't have the money or uh, for some reason there's too many commitments surrounding this relationship and you just feel like I can't I can't move I'm trapped um, there could be some legal things that you have to deal with um, you could be in a marriage where it's going to be difficult to break um, or you're in a relationship or some type of situation where fear is holding you back you're afraid to um, do something that you you know something different um, the, but the chariot here in your environment, this can represent victory through focus and discipline. So maybe you've been too scattered. Maybe you've been working on something and you've got your, you know, you've got too many things um, going on. So if you're dating, uh, for some of you who are dating, maybe you have too many, you know, you you're, you have too many irons in the fire, and you need to narrow down your choices. Or if you're working on something, you've got too many projects that you're working on, and it's kind of draining your energy and it's diluting your effort because you're doing too many things in too many areas the chariot is about you have to focus what is it that's important to me what is it that I really want and let me zero in on that um, and the chariot can help you get there but you have to stop being led by others you might be listening to everybody's opinion and they're pulling you here and there and everybody's got, got a different opinion like you should do this and you should do that and it's just confusing you and it's not helping you get out of this problem that you're in. It's not helping you to free you. Um, you have to trust your own intuition at times. You have to stand up for what you believe in. Um, but you have to focus. That's the most important thing. Make a decision and stick with it. And you will. this will carry you to success. Because look, you have the Ten of Pentacles here in your wish fulfillment. This is a card of the wealth card, the financial security card, or just feeling safe in a partnership. So you could be meeting someone in December or connecting with someone um, that brings you that financial um, security that you're looking for. Um, it could be that you connect with someone back from the past and um, you can take that group. Be, maybe this person is supporting you financially or helping you out of a jam in some financial situation. Or in any case, you're just feeling more secure. Um, you could be having a relationship that makes you feel more secure. Um, remember that Uranus is connected to the new moon. And in your case, that Uranus is in the ninth house. So there could be some surprises re involving travel or long-distance relationships, long-distance romance maybe. Maybe you're reconnecting with someone, but you both live in different areas. Um, and it, Uranus could also deal with publishing. I mean, the ninth house is publishing, higher education, social media, reaching a global market. So some surprises could happen. You, could, you have an opportunity to create a new beginning that can lead to greater prosperity, but it may involve like technology and a global, you know, reaching a global market, reaching a global market through technology publishing. Um, and that can bring in some money. And this, um, but you're going to be having to learn some new things with the page of pen. You're going to have to be open to the new. You know, sometimes Leos are a fixed sign, and the fixed signs can be stubborn. You know, you get your mind set on a course of action, and it's hard for you to budge. Um, so with the page of pentacles, you're going to have to be open to learning new approaches or a new way of doing things. Um, so you need a breath of fresh air. Um, 
Maybe you've been stuck on a path that's not working and you need to think of a new way to approach the situation. Um, and that could be relationship and it could also be in career, uh, in career. But whatever you do decide, you have to look realistically at the situation. This is a card of seeing the truth, seeing, you know, using your intellect to make a decision, not your emotions. You know, a lot of times you get caught up in something emotionally and you do things that don't make any sense because you're not thinking with your head. You're just letting your heart rule your head. This month, you have to be careful that you're not being led astray by your emotions. This month, you have to, you know, make a list and look at things realistically because with Neptune um, connecting to the full moon, you could be delusional. You could be thinking, you know, you could have this crazy dream that doesn't have a basis in reality. So you want to make sure that all your actions are based on, you know, something that you have given a lot of thought to, based on logic, not just wishing, not just dreaming. Um, and once you figure that out with the full moon, the new moon can take you to the new beginning. And then the new moon is connected to Saturn. The new moon in Sagittarius is conjunct Saturn. So whatever you start with that new moon can last a long time. You can build stability and security. Saturn is a, is a planet of, you know, stability, security, discipline. But it's also going to, you have to be realistic and you have to do the work. You can't just skate by. So you have to be committed. It's a planet of commitment. You have to make a commitment in December. Um, so you might be thinking, you know, if you want success, and if you want to have this dream really come to life, you're going to have to make a serious commitment and make a serious effort. And it may involve, you know, um, thinking outside the box because Uranus is there too. Um, but Saturn is trying Uranus. This is a good sign for the new moon. You know, you can really build something with the support of these heavyweight planets. Um, at the end of the month. Um, and it's something that um, can bring a dream to life, can bring a creative project to life, can bring a romance to life. Maybe you're, if you're dating someone, you may want to make more of a commitment. You may decide, like, I really want, I want this person in my life. I want to make a commitment. I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to put, put in what I need to put in to make this happen, to make this work. And that can go for relationships and or career or whatever you're, whatever is, um, sparking your interest you can create a new beginning um, that's going to bring you closer to your your goal closer to your dream and make and help you feel more secure because this is I love this card this ten of pentacles this is a card where you just feel safe and you have someone in your life who has your back someone who's there for you you know you can trust um, you can relax you can take a deep breath and say oh I can rest now I have this person in my life um, so it's there for you in December, but you have to make the commitment. You have to be willing to meet that person and do the work. You can't just expect to get something for nothing. Um, there's going to be work involved. You have to, you know, give up all these other distractions that are preventing you from reaching your goal. Focus on that one person that's important to you. Focus on that one, um, project that's important to you, whether it's a relationship or a, a creative project, um, you need to focus on that and forget about all these other distractions, all these other options that may or may not pan out. You have to really sit seriously think um, in a logical way. What is best for me? And stop wasting your energy on things that are draining you with the death, uh, the devil card. Some, something's sucking the life out of you. You need to let it go. If something is draining your energy and it's not producing results, let it go. So if it, and if something's preventing you from giving your 100% to a relationship or 100% to a project, um, let it go. If it's, if it's drugs or alcohol or if it's some other obsession, whatever it is, uh, if it's an unhealthy attachment, you have to release it so that you can form better attachments that will bring your dreams to life. So that's my, um, my forecast for December, Leo. Um... And I ha wish you happy holidays, and I wish you luck, and I wish you prosperity. And um, I hope that your dreams, you have the, you ha I hope you make the wise decisions that will help you achieve this dream, this star that is on the horizon that you want so badly. Um, don't give up hope, 
but make wise decisions and take wise actions. And so December, you might be redoing some things. You might feel like, well, I have to redo this because this isn't working. I have to rethink, replan because Mercury's retrograde. But that's a good thing because you're going to come when you, after you um, reconfigure, you know, it's kind of like the GPS thing, reconfiguring, re <laughs> because you're on the, you're going on a different path that's not the right path for you. You have to reconfigure, get back on the right track. Um, you can do it and then use that new moon energy to, to make a good beginning, to make a, to get back on track. So good luck to you, Leo. And I hope this reading was a help to you and I will talk to you again next month. Okay. Bye now.